Thanks. Continuing our coverage into the Kelsey Barrett murder case. Now, we first told you Friday prosecutors would not seek the death penalty against Patrick Frazee. He's the father of Barrett's child charged with her murder last November. And that led many of you to ask why, given the brutal nature of the crime. And our Sam Kramer digging deeper for us tonight. And Sam, the death penalty just isn't often used in our state. Yeah, you're exactly right. Since it was reinst reinstated rather in 1975, Colorado has executed just one inmate. Three currently sit on death. Death row. Now, while the DA's office won't tell us why they chose not to pursue it, we sat down with the two Republican candidates running for that office for more context on how that decision is made. Should Patrick Frazee be found guilty at his murder trial scheduled for later this year, the death penalty is now off the table. Prosecutors had nine weeks to file a motion seeking capital punishment. They did not. It's one of the weightiest decisions that a district attorney makes, uh, and it's one that affects the entire community and certainly the case. So how did the DA's office make that decision? We asked the candidates running for Dan May's seat in 2020, Michael Allen and Mark Waller. There's the legal analysis where we look at the statute that sets out what the aggravators and mitigators are for a death penalty prosecution. But you also have to think about the practical side of it. Is the case strong enough to survive a death penalty analysis? State law would have required prosecutors show Frazee committed a statutory aggravator like killing Barrett for financial gain or committing an especially cruel murder. After consulting the victim's family and the community, pursuing the death penalty comes back to the facts of the case and whether they're strong enough. But then you also have to look at your likelihood of success at trial. You know, you have to look at if I put resources to this, where is that going to impact resources elsewhere? A death penalty trial would be completely separate from the murder trial and require a unanimous decision to get it, something the state couldn't get against James Holmes, the man convicted of killing 12 and injuring dozens more at the Aurora Theater shooting in 2012. Now, another matter to consider is the cost. The death penalty repeal bill that failed during the 2019 legislative session estimates that costs for a public defender, alternate defense counsel, the Department of Corrections, and other judicial costs, all for a single case, at around $425,000. That's to the taxpayer. Of course, that does not include the district attorney's office. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5.